up guys? My name is Ilyas and welcome to the 29th tutorial. And in the tutorial we will actually start coding for jQuery and stuff. Oh, I mean for Ajax and stuff, sorry. Alright, so I promised you guys we will create this function to display the text text the description to every image. So and there's something I want you to do before we continue. And just go ahead to your uh, project folder and please create a, t a folder called text. And inside of this folder, please create eight text documents. And within each document, uh, just place this this number three or number four. I mean, just place this this number of this text uh, document well, like, like this. And the the, f the further text you uh, type here does matter. Well, it's just uh, a dummy text. And the next thing I want you guys to do is uh, to create these IDs for images from one to eight. And when you're done with it, we can uh, already start programming and doing some cool stuff. Yep. So um, now we have this script.js, which we, which we created in the previous tutorials. And uh, there's something I want to replace. So you know, uh, when we we want to change the picture on the frame, we use this. Uh, we grab the main, and this main is actually um, an image, which is, I mean which is this image and we set its source at attribute to the source of the picture which is clicked I hope you guys got it but now we also need to um, pass the images ID so that we um, open the picture because you know we have IDs from 1 to 8 as well as uh, text documents from 1 to 8 so this is easy to access the text documents and um, I want to move these functions to uh, to a new function, which we will create by ourselves. And I'll just call the function. I spelled the function wrong. I'll just call the function uh, set img. And the function set img will pass two parameters, or will take two parameters: source and id. So we can already get rid of this um, definition of this um, line of code and paste it right here and instead of uh, calling this function we'll call our own function set image passing the source and now we're missing the ID which we also need to pass so you know um, this uh, this <laughs> that sounds funny but this this refers to, to the image which is clicked and we can also access not only its attribute of source but we can also access its attribute of ID so I'll create a new variable called ID and I'll just type this dot attribute ID so now we have as well the source and the ID in variable source and ID and we can pass this ID uh, to the function set image ID right here and this set image function will contain our Ajax feature. And uh, so in this tutorial we'll pretty much prepare our code for working with Ajax. And in the next tutorial we'll write our first line of Ajax code. So right now we have this ID and we have ID here. And what you also want to do, we want to find the functions where we use this main attribute source and these are right and click right click and left click functions when right click functions mean that we uh, click the right arrow so we switch to the next picture and so instead of uh, having this function we'll replace it through the set image function which we created just now and pass the parameters of source and no in this case next source because we call the variable next source so we want to pass this variable to the set image function and we also need the ID of this element so how to get the ID of this element hmm this is a very tricky question but we'll get it so um, we are next source and stuff we can actually just copy this line of code and instead of accessing the attribute of source we'll access the attribute of ID and our name this variable to ID of course as well and the same the same code we can use in uh, in the left click function as well 
So just copy this code and create a variable called ID and access the attribute of ID instead of uh, source. And right here, I'll just copy this one. No, let me uh, type it for you guys. So set image uh, <clears throat> brief source because we click to the left and we call the variable brief source. Brief source, comma ID. Yep, and now it should work. Now we're just passing the ID, but the function doesn't know what to do with the ID, which is all right because the function should work anyway. And now we just test if our uh, modified code still works. Yeah, it, it still works. So in the next tutorial, we will be ready to work with uh, Ajax because we already prepared our source code so that we can work with it. When we have this set image function, within of which we will um, write our first lines of Ajax code and we will access the text element uh, in the folder of txt via this ID parameter. Alright guys, I hope it sounds fun and I hope you also learn new stuff and um, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial where we will start writing our first Ajax code in jQuery. So uh, thanks for watching guys and see you, see you later. Bye bye!